Hey everybody. Okay, I'm gonna make some sugar water today. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a one-to-one -one ratio. Right now here in Alabama, we're uh, we're kind of in a dearth. It's July the second, and I can tell there's just not a lot of um, nectar coming coming in for some reason. I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make some uh, sugar water and hope this helps you guys out. Okay, so I've got a clean bucket. Five gallon bucket. I've got hot water that I ran out of my hot water tank. I've got my five buckets that I plan on using to fill these up with. And here we go. See, it's right here. I'm gonna shake it down a little bit. So it's still kind of around in here. So I'm gonna put that amount of water from my other bucket into this. I usually don't put it all in at first. I like to mix it up. And this is what I use. This got my drill, and I don't know if this is a paint mixer or mud mixer for tile work. So that's pretty much what I do. I mix it until it gets a little clearer. As you can see, it's a lot clearer than it was. Uh, it started out creamy and then it gets uh, clearer. I usually go ahead, instead of making up a whole jar, I just usually put a few drops of uh, spearmint oil and wintergreen oil in. Put about four drops. It's probably too much, but I haven't had any issues yet that I'm aware of. So if you guys uh, think that five drops is too much for a five gallon bucket, uh, please let me know, okay? So I'll go ahead and mix that in. So I'll blend this up. Probably looking at about 10 minutes. Make sure it's mixed up well. And then I'll add more water. And then I'll add this mixture to the other bucket. And just kind of go back and forth there. Until we get that one-to-one -one ratio. So once we get it mixed up correctly, it'll look like that. I've got the rest in that bucket. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pouring it in each one of these buckets. The only way that I've found so far is to basically just pour it in, take the top off. And then when I say the top, I'm talking about the tent plug. And and then I just kind of pour, try my best to pour it in. And then I'll push down here, and they usually go in. The um, liquid goes in. I wash these buckets out, and I use peroxide to um, sanitize them. And then I rinse them out really, really good to make sure. So I'm going to go ahead and pour these in. Just doing my best. To... That's some skill right there, y'all. Try to fill it up as much as possible. And then I push down. And it runs down in there. So that's kind of cool. It works. Good thing about these buckets is they have a lip. And believe it or not, there's just enough room for bee space 
on those hives so I don't have to put it directly over the hole. I can put it offset so if it does leak, it's going to leak on top of the hive cover and the bees can come up and lick it or eat it from there. bucket a little different it's one of my first where I was trying and uh, so I just put mesh over it unfortunately I have to undo it to take it off so seems to work so far I don't know how long it's gonna last I'm gonna leave a little extra Not too bad as you can see I got a little spillage right there but the rest of them they went in you just push down on the on the little circle you know right here in this area and usually the sugar water goes down in there so I'll just spray this off and go fill up my two mason jars from a queen castle and we'll go from there